From Degas to Monet, from Spielberg to the Coen brothers, over the years the category of art has kept expanding to new things, but there has always been opposition. This time the pushback lands on video games. I've heard it said many times that video games aren't an art, and never will be. But to those of you who think that, all I can do is urge you to stay open-minded throughout this video as we discuss why video games are an art. Now, first off, let's look at the definition of art. The expression or application of human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form such as painting or sculpture, producing works to be appreciated primarily for their beauty or emotional power. So, according to the definition of art, video games can in fact be an art. I know I've played games that have touched me, whether it's with an emotional storyline or just beautiful graphics. It happens. But if we're using that definition, technically, pouring milk could be an art. So what is an art? Well, I came up with a definition that I believe people really want to know when they ask, are video games art? So here goes. Art is something that can tell a beautiful story, portray a truth about human nature, reflect the world around them in some way or another. Art can teach lessons. It can be an outlet for the artist that creates said art to vent their feelings. It can be an opportunity to soul search. And yes, I hate to say it, but true art never takes on the form of mindless pleasure that cheap horsey drawing you did as a kid. While these things are at the most basic level of the word, art, they are not high art. They are not something that teaches timeless lessons that will still be applicable a hundred years from now. And those two words, high art, are the things that sum up the definition I just gave. So if we were to use that definition, that would mean that not all paintings or films are high art. And I know this may sound crazy, but back in the day when Leonardo da Vinci was alive, many people would commission sculptors or painters to make a statue or a painting to put in their house. This was a sign of wealth and power. Many people also believe that this was what the Mona Lisa was for. Some person commissioned Leonardo da Vinci to paint it so they could hang it up in their living room. And if this is the case, that would mean that it does not teach lessons that will be applicable a hundred years from now, that are timeless. So that would mean that the Mona Lisa is not high art. And just because there are a few games or movies like Loadout or Transformers that have no lasting value doesn't mean that the entire medium has failed as an art form. I mean, who would have thought that comic books could be recognized as a form of art until books like Watchmen or Mouse came along that totally flipped the script? So why haven't video games been recognized as an art form yet? Well, I think that most of the reason is novelty. When film first came out, everyone just thought it was a cheap form of entertainment. Now you'd be hard-pressed to find someone who wouldn't admit that film has at least the potential to be art. In fact, someone even argued that movies are the ultimate form of art because they are all-encompassing. Movies can have paintings, music, dancing, acting, etc, etc. I would even put video games on or above the level of art that movies hold. Because while being able to do all the same things that a movie can do, games can teach valuable lessons by doing, not just seeing someone make a mistake on screen and then watch their character learn from his mistakes. In many games, it gives you the choice to develop your character in many different ways. In real life, people are afraid of failing. The same is not true in video games. For all failing does in games is tell you not to make the same mistake twice. I think another reason why people do not think games are developed enough to be an art is the cheap way developers advertise their game to make more money. But this is something the video game community will have to grow out of and learn to accept the finer things in life. Or virtual life, anyways.